Hey guys, hoping all is well with everyone. So in this question of the day, we kind of have a combination of both an algebraic component and geometric component to our question. So the question states that the perimeter of the triangle shown below is 37 centimeters. Find the value of x. Now the first step that we kind of just want to take in approaching this, more of just a recall and understanding of the definition of perimeter. So the perimeter is just the summation of all the sides of a given polygon. So in this case it's just going to be the summation of the sides of the given triangle. The only difference is that instead of just constant numerical values, they are representing the sides as algebraic expressions. And that's totally okay because what we can do going forward with our approach is using the perimeter formula, but since we know what the perimeter is in terms of its value being 37, we can use the three sides of the triangle and add them up and solve this like we would any other multi-step um, single variable equation. So for step number one, we're going to create an algebraic equation using the perimeter formula to ha which has respect to the exit variable. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, we're going to go ahead and say that the perimeter is the sum of the three sides. So we have 3x as the first side. We have... Now this next step, this next part I'm just going to say for housekeeping purposes. If you have a binomial or more, or something that shows a distribution into a binomial, um, always get in the good habit of putting that in parentheses. So even though nothing is being done to the expression 2x plus 1, it's a really good habit to get into because that may be a different case and scenario going forward. And then for the next one, I'm going to put brackets around it because there's already a parentheses uh, being used to represent that distribution of 2. Okay. Now, remember, this is an equation, so it's going to be equal to uh, the perimeter that we, were be given, that we were given, which is going to be 37. Okay. So step two is kind of going to be another kind of housekeeping organization step. So step two is going to be to simplify all applicable expressions and adding like terms. Okay, so you can almost break this down into two parts. So we can say, um, so step two, we'll say step two A is simplify all applicable expressions. And we'll say step two B will be to combine like terms. Okay. So we'll say, so the first expression we don't have to simplify, it already is. Same thing with the second one, but we can take it out of the parentheses. And then for the third expression, we do need to simplify that by using the distributive property, so we'll get 2x plus 8. And again, this is still an equation, so it's still equal to that 37. Okay. So now my step 2b is going to be to combine the like terms. As my personal approach, I always like to draw arrows between my like terms. It just helps things stay organized for me a little bit easier. So 3x, 2x, and then this other 2x are all like terms, and then I'll use green for the other. We have 1, plus 1, and positive 8 as like terms. So we'll go ahead and combine those like terms, and we'll get that 3x plus 2x plus 2x is 7x, and then positive 1 plus 8 is 9, equals 37. So now, as you can see, just after two steps, we've turned a multi-expression, multi-termed um, equation into just a two-step equation 
with one single variable. So now the rest is again just about solving for x by undoing what is being done to the variable. So remember, equations are like balance scales. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other. But in doing so, my goal is to undo the operations being done on the variable x. So when I look at x, what's being done to it is 9 is being added to it, and it's also being multiplied by 7. So I'm going to do the operations that are going to undo that by doing the inverse. So step 3, isolate the variable by undoing the operations done to the variable. Isolate the variable by undoing the operations done to the variable by applying the operations inverse. Okay. So going back here, so we have 7x plus 9 is equal to 37. So that plus 9 to undo that operation, I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. And that's going to give me that 7x. The plus 9 and then minus 9 will cancel out. We want that because it's giving us one step closer to getting x by itself. So this is going to be that 7x is equal to 28. And then the opposite of multiplying by 7 is dividing by 7. So I'll divide by 7 on both sides. And then I get that x. The 7 over 7 is going to cancel out because 7 divided by 7 is just 1. And the multiplicative identity of 1 just means that 1 times anything is just that thing. So in this case, x times 1 is just going to be x. So x is fully isolated now with 28 divided by 7 on the right side being equal to 4. So our final answer is that x is equal to 4. So again, even though this is a combination of both algebra and geometry, we can still set up an equation that uses geometric uh, properties and terminologies to help us solve for the algebraic um, question at hand, which means solving for a unknown variable. But I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, again, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. Uh, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Please take good care and be safe, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.